Hi everyone, welcome to Nina Taylor Fitness. So what I'm going to do with you today is just add in a little core routine that you can add on the end, say if you've been out for a bike ride or run or a walk and you're nice and warm, your body's already warmed up and you're ready to just do a finisher with your core. Okay, so we're going to do four exercises for a minute and then change over. And you can repeat this uh, as many times as you want. And just making sure that you don't have any injuries or if you haven't exercised for a long time or haven't done any exercise, please check with your GP or your um, health care professional before you do any exercise. Okay, so otherwise, you just need your mat or a comfortable flooring and yourself. And so I'm going to put the timer on and add a bit of music. Lovely. And we're going to start lying on our backs. Put your music on. Okay, let's set the timer on. So you're going to lie down to begin with. Get that lower abdominals. Press down into the floor, back of your ribs. Gently press down. So you've got that nice activated core and you're going to lift and lower, okay, I'm just showing you the exercise in a minute. Option one is lift, option two, here. Option three, add the arms, okay? Knees in line with hips. Keep that core switched on. Where are we, let's go. Minute, let's do this. Extend back out, remember, option one, here. Breathing out and in. Option two, option three, add the opposite arm. The lower the leg goes, the harder you work. Now keep your lower back gently into the floor. Core connected. Breathe out as you raise. And again. So nice and long. Straight through the core. And again. Breathe it out. Lovely. Lift and lower. And again. You've got a 10 second rest in between each one. Lovely. Breathe out. Bring it back to centre. Nice and long. Excellent. Stay with Timer. 10 seconds. Knees to center. Stay with it. Remember, you can bring that leg back down if you need to. Lower back into the mat. Excellent. Okay, stay in here. Now you're going to lift and twist. Lift and twist. So you're giving your shoulder over to that opposite hip bone. Lift. You can add the knee in. Choose it. Or you can lift up. Breathe it out in. So. The idea is to get the opposite shoulder over to the opposite hip, more than just the elbow going over. So get that lift and twist. If you need to, bring the feet down, change the variation, okay? Here, breathing in and out. So we're not holding the breath. And again, excellent. Choose that option that suits you. Work in the obliques now, yeah? go to the side, 20 seconds, if you find your technique is starting to go a little bit, change the option or rest it out and then join back in, always want your technique to be the most important thing, lovely, nearly there, 5 seconds, let's stay with this, lovely, brilliant, turning onto your side, side lying, side lying here, Okay, bottom leg bent, top leg straight, lift and lower. Hip bones stay stacked, shoulders stacked. Option one. Option two, extend the bottom leg. Option three, bring the legs together. Lift and lower. Nice long body, line for your body. Hip forward, shoulders stacked. Imagine a little drawing pin under your waist, push the top hip away, stay long. Hands here, hands here, or lift, press it up. Breathing out and in, and again, nice and long through your body. Excellent. Back of your head in line with your shoulders. So we're not bringing the chin down to the chest. Keep that length in the back of your neck. Stay with it. Working those really deep muscles through the side. Lovely. Now, if you need to, bend that knee and give me that straight leg, okay? Option one, option two, option three. Now hold it up. Little pulses if you want. Option five. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Push yourself up. Change it over. To the other side. Let's get that length through your body. Shoulder stacked. Hip stacked. Option one. Bottom leg bent. Back left head in line with the shoulders. Shoulder stacked. Option. Extend that bottom leg straight. Lift. Option three. Breathing out. Now the hand can stay down, a little bit more stability. The hand can come up, or the hand can go up. 
might find like me you're a little bit more wobbly on one side than the other. Keep the hip bones facing forward. You need that more stability than that bottom leg, okay? Choose that option that suits you. Get the core nice and stable. Lift. And again, breathing out and in. Lift it up. Excellent. Nice and still. Extend if you want to. Less. A little bit more challenge for the core. Hand down or up. And if you want to, both legs. Now change the hand motion if you need to. Hold it up and pulse it. Pulse, pulse if you want to. Stay slow, otherwise. Two and one. Lovely, rest it down. Pushing yourself up. Bringing yourself into four point position. Wrists underneath your shoulders. Knees underneath your hips. Toes under, hover up, breathe out. Toes go down. And again. Tuck the tailbone under, shoulders stay back. Option one. Otherwise, hands up. Lift it here into your full plank. You got it. Okay, full plank. Okay, here. So you can add some variations. Take it across. And up to you now. You can stay with a static plank. You can stay in that full point. Lift. opposite elbow and then four up nearly there four across four point kneeling rest it down if you need to stay strong push the heels away squeeze the glutes four more of each one two three four across strong lovely rest it down separate the knees bring it back child's pose lengthen through the glutes the lower back, hands forward, if it's more comfortable, bring them down to the elbows or hands down to the feet. Take a breath into the sides and back of your ribs for that diaphragm breathing. Two more breaths, one more, and rest it out, bring it up. Okay, onto your feet, all the way up, big stretch, reach it up and down. Breathe in. Let it go, well done, okay, so you can do two rounds of that if you want to, but if that was enough, then well done, and then add that on to in a couple of days. Brilliant, take care, bye.